So I had a meeting at 9.30. I woke up at 9.28, two minutes later, I was in a meeting. I think these Zoom meetings have been very efficient. And even if the pandemic is over, I really wish this practice sticks because I don't have to travel. I don't have to walk to the meeting rooms. I don't have to waste time chit-chatting pre-meeting. Yeah, sure, you sacrifice your socialization a bit, but those are usually not very productive anyway. Especially if you have a free trial version of Zoom and like your meeting is over in 45 minutes, it's like, gotta get going. I think today I'm gonna take you guys to the lab with me. A few vlogs ago, I kind of took you guys to the lab, kind of. This time I hope to explain uh, things to you live as I am doing stuff. So you kind of get an idea what it's really like to be in the lab and what most of my time is spent on. I think I'm gonna spend most of my time looking for stuff in the lab. Every day I set one goal for each day, one simple goal that I know I can accomplish so that things don't feel too overwhelming so that I feel like I move forward every time I complete these tasks. If I were to look at the bigger picture of what is left to be done, I think I'm gonna go insane. COVID lab restriction definitely slowed down my momentum. When I came back from the US, I spent a couple months, wrote a paper, and I was so ready to be back in the lab. I was pumped, full of energy, and suddenly things were shut down. And I think this is where good advisors come in handy. Someone who understands mental health and willing to work with you and give you whatever you need to get through. I have been very lucky that I was given the chance to manage my own schedule and work at my own pace. Otherwise, I don't think my sanity will last until the end of my PhD. I took some measurement yesterday and today what I want to do is just to quickly check the amount of power that goes into the photodiode and right now I'm just scanning looking at an air signal to see that the amount of power was uh, the same as yesterday's and the reason you want to measure the power going into your diode along with your measurement is that in the future if you ever want to calculate your shot noise you need to know how much power did you have going into your photodiode Recording. I think my handwriting would put doctors to shame. If you're a doctor watching this, is your handwriting worse than mine? I want to know. Right now, I'm just thinking about what I might need for the experiment. So I think we need two adder subtractors, two PID boards, two amplifiers. The shifter. So we've got one PID, one preamp, another preamp, not preamp, an amplifier. It says not working. Disha, are you using all the board on there? These all? Like, yeah, are you using all of them? Yes. Okay. Oh, there's something over there. Also oh, using that too. Uh, In the end, yes. <laughs> you can use it. I am sad. What about two micron stuff? I would have gotten everything I need from the two micron table. Terry, you're the man. Can I steal stuff from two micron? Yeah, why not? Yes. I swear this is all I'm gonna take. The dark purple are the stuff I already have and the light purple are the stuff that I have just acquired. So I think most of them got a shake mark. I just noticed that this guy doesn't have an on-off switch. You see this one here? Doesn't have an on-off switch. Guess we're gonna find another one. Mm. Now we have three amplifiers right next to each other and none of them work. Look at all these boards and I hope I have enough space in my rack. Hmm, we'll wing it. The alarm clock has just gone off. It is 12.30 right now. That means lunch time.
Yep, that's rugby for you. That's a family of ducklings right there. That is super cute. And we are back in our afternoon lab session. All I want to accomplish this afternoon is to install a fiber EOM. That's it. That's all I want to do this afternoon. This is a really snuggly one. Now that's your cladding and your core. If you ever have to deal with fiber, you don't want shit on the black circle. This one looks pretty good actually. What I want to do next is to hook up this fiber EOM between the two fibers that I already have. I was planning to use the fiber EOM at the beginning. I kind of left a junction here so that the fiber EOM can go in between when I need one. And now it's time. No, 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 no. Look at this fussy thing. That is really hard to see, but the fiber is broken. I think I'm gonna go ask somebody who knows more than me about fiber EOM or fiber in general. Maybe that's just a sketchy looking thing that works, which is a normal thing in this lab. And because it is now 5 p.m., I think I'm gonna go upstairs, ask for some opinions and just go straight home. There's not much I can do in an hour. You don't wanna rush things. That's just bad. You may think one hour sounds like a lot, but nah, in the lab, not really. So those nameless was introduced because there's only a few number of people can be in the lab at one time and it used to be such a small number that these tags were uh, invented. If you see 10 names there, it's just not going. But now I think the number of people has increased to like 46 people. None of these taken into account how well the air flows, which worries me, but because camera has no case, so this is not super important. This actually looks pretty cool. I'm gonna try to get a drone shot here real quick. Oh, somebody's dog ran loose. <laughs> 